Are you a are you a tourist? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We we don't really have the time to talk right now. We're in the middle of uh, we're figuring something out. You are out. a I'm... tourist. But are you a you are yes, a tourist? tourist? Look, if there's any doubt, Smiling Friends is top tier comedy. This episode came out of nowhere to remind us all that it currently holds the crown. Seven months after the surprise drop of season one, man, Adult Swim loves surprise drops. What's up with that? The iconic series has returned with a special to tide us over until the next batch of episodes, titled The Smiling Friends Go to Brazil. And it was definitely a trip, so let's talk about it. Marketed as an extravagant event that would see Pim, Charlie, Ellen, and Glep explore the paradise that is Brazil, the the episode has a pretty predictable twist that, only in the way Smiling Friends can, still manages to be an incredible 11 minutes of television. After arriving to their destination, a huge wrench is thrown at the team's plan. When it's revealed, Pim failed to book a hotel for them to stay at, dying on the hill that he didn't know this responsibility fell upon him in the first place. From here, hijinks ensue, and it's pretty obvious we're not going to see the boys enjoy their vacation. They never even leave the airport. This bottle episode really got to highlight one of Smiling Friends' biggest strengths, the show's ability to commentate on the everyday struggles of adulthood, especially in modern times. Those are some of my favorite moments from season 1. The devil himself having DoorDash troubles, Charlie trying to whip shrimp into shape, giving us some A1 insight into gym culture that I relate to every single day of my life. Like, yeah dude, I'm sure you know all about perfect form and everything, but I didn't ask for unsolicited pointers. Go home to your family, if you have one. You may not. But here, as someone who's had a fair share of hiccups when traveling, the show was preaching to my very soul. Pim took a fat L here, but when you've been in that situation where you were a friend screwed up, and you're out of a place to stay, you could truly relate to everyone in this situation. I mean, that happened to us before at Comic-Con, and it was not a fun two hours to sort out, let me tell you. That awkward tension between you and your table server, when you didn't really want to get food, you just needed a place to sit, but now it's like, oh man, well we took up a whole ass table, and the person bringing my $5 appetizer is definitely gonna want a tip. Hell is hot, people. Play your cards right. Well, unless you're in the Smiling Friends universe, then you're kinda just chilling. That place looked kinda cool. <laughs> Honestly, I commend this episode for actually bringing them to Brazil, even if they didn't leave the airport. That was an admirable subversion in and of itself, because usually with this trope, half of the time the characters don't even make it to the airport. Remember that episode of Foster's where they were going to Europe, and the whole 22 minutes was just Mac getting the gang ready for Europe, but they lose tickets, and there's that one person who just can't stop singing, it's just really annoying. We've seen that done over and over again, so even though the Brazil bag was fumbled here, it was kind of satisfying just knowing they at least made it before flying back, and that was also a big part of why I loved the first season, was the show's ability to have this sort of like unique, iconic, extremely normal unscripted conversations. It's like improv where they're talking over each other, and it just feels so bland and normal in a way that we can all relate to. Almost like they're breaking character in character. It's, it's really good. Like, and they pretty much did that course? for the entire episode. Course, this episode is pretty clever in that sense. I feel like it wasn't extremely heavily scripted, and while animation is always hard, I feel like they played their cards right, and gave them a situation where the animation was extremely limited here, just down to mostly dialogue and a few scenes from the same angle. I love that you got to see Brazil from the airport in that giant window, just knowing that it was there and they never got to go there, and the fact that they called Mr. Boss but just never showed him, this is all just further solidifying the Smiling Friends brand and why the show is so special. There's not really much to say about this episode other than, wow, I really love this show and I can't wait to see what they do next. But what did you guys think of Smiling Friends Goes to Brazil? But let's just use the comments as a place to review the episode and series as a whole if you want. Keep the conversation going by following us on social media, at is Retro Nemo on Twitter, and at Roundtable Vids on both Instagram and Twitter. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to throw a like, subscribe to the Roundtable with notifications on, check out our dope cartoon Toon merch over at Toon Drip, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Before we freak out and get in a weird mood and start bickering at each other.